Good morning and welcome back to your Delta News on Fox. Right now we are taking a live look outside. We are facing east over Highway 82 Mississippi River Bridge. Gorgeous view on this morning. A little bit of traffic there on the roadways, but it's a perfect day to travel. Not a bad weather at all. It looks lovely. Clay, can you give us an update of what's on radar this morning? Faith, there is absolutely nothing on radar this morning. We are not expected to see any rain anytime soon. We have all this dry air that's been sitting across the southern plains and much of the delta into the southeast. Really the closest rain to us is in southern Texas and portions of the Gulf Coast. So we have main, remained dry for much of the week and will continue to see dry weather for the remainder of this week. But the main story today has been Hurricane Dorian still sitting over Grand Bahama, just been churning over the Bah northwestern part of the Bahamas for the past 24 to 38 hours. And now we see those rain bands starting to move into portions of central Florida and southern Georgia. And this will be the case as we head throughout this evening and tomorrow and the next couple of days as the storm starts to track to the north. And as we track this storm out the next couple of days, it is currently a category three storm, which means there are 120 mile per hour sustained winds. Currently, the storm isn't really moving too quickly at all, but as we head over the next couple of days, it will gradually start to move to the north and northwest along the east coast of Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas. And by the time we hit 1 a.m. on Friday, it'll be a category two storm and it can be ruled out to make a landfall somewhere between Charleston and the Outer Banks of North Carolina. But regardless of the track, even if it stays just off the coast, there are going to be impacts with storm surge along these areas heavy rains and wind could knock out power in some of these locations. So nonetheless, it'll be something to keep an eye on because it's already done so much destruction in the Bahamas. So hopefully it stays as far away from the coast as possible. But fortunately for us in the Delta, we're not going to have to deal with anything Dorian related. Move into Greenville. It's already warmed up to 90, 76 degrees this morning. Humidity at 85%. It is a little muggy out there. And the same for Greenwood at 78, just a couple of clicks under 80. That humidity at 79%. So it's a little sticky out there this morning, but it's not too terrible. But it will gradually get warmer as we head throughout the rest of the day. And for regional temps, it's 76 up towards Little Rock, 74 in El Dorado, 77 over towards Shreveport. And as we head up the 55 corridor, it is 77 in Jackson, 77 in Oxford, and 79 in Clarksdale. For the Mississippi River level, it's going to be 30.2 feet today, going to hold steady around 30 feet for much of the week. No issue at all there. And the Yazoo River level at Greenwood is going to stay at 21.6 through Sunday. So again, we're not going to have any issues with either of our local rivers. And for the highs regionally today, it's going to top out around 96 in Carrollton and Chula, 95 in Indianola, 96 in Cleveland, and 93 up towards Clarksdale. And for our lows, it's going to be pretty much low 70s across the board. A couple of places may dip into the 60s, Batesville at 69. Grenada and Carrollton also at 69, 70 in Cleveland, 70 in Indianola, and 71 down towards Hollandale. And for our seven day forecast, today is going to get up to 95. Tomorrow is really going to be hot. We may see heat indexes over 100 degrees. Thursday, it cools down just a little bit. And Friday into the weekend, it's going to be highs in the upper 90s with plenty of sunshine around. 